Hi all, you are watching Simulink tutorial and today we are going to see the difference between MUFs and BUS. So both are used to combine signals but the question arises when to use BUS and when to use MUFs. So the answer is here. When you have signals of same data type, you can use either BUS or MUFs. But when you have signals of different data types, you use BUS. Because BUS can accept signals of different data types. But again, to use BUS in that manner, you need to follow few steps. So let's see all this with an example. So in this model, I have a MUX and a bus creator block and three constants are given as input to both bus creator and MUX. Now, if I simulate this model, this is simulatable because all three constants have same data type that is int 16. Okay. Now, Let's make some modification to the data type of constant 3. Okay. So double click on the block, signal attributes, and let's make it u int 16. Okay. Save the changes. Simulate the model. Now you can see that it is giving an error that is data type mismatch input port 1 of this block that is mux expects a signal of data type int 16 however it is driven by a signal of data type u int 16 and the second error is data type mismatch output port 1 of this block that is constant block is a signal of data type u int 16 however it is driving a signal of data type int 16 so this is a data type mismatch error now let's take another constant okay and let's make it its data type as int 16 okay and we'll delete this connection and we'll give this to marks okay now save changes simulate the model now again there is an error that is input port cannot accept a virtual bus of mixed data types that is these two are int 16 but this one is u int 16 so we are getting data type mismatch error for this output port that is it cannot display mixed data type signal it cannot accept okay so to overcome this we can associate a bus object here to create a bus object, you can use command, this command that is bus object name equal to simulink dot bus. If you enter this, I'm just making it bus underscore 2 because I already have bus underscore 1 bus object in the workspace. So if you enter this, a bus object is created and you can add elements to this bus object if you double click on this bus object bus underscore 2 okay this is selected now if you click here that is add or insert bus element and bus element is added to bus underscore 2 you can rename it you can define here the different attributes that is you can change the data type okay so this is the one element you can add more elements okay so I'm just deleting this bus object so that is how we create a bus object by using this command or the other way is by typing bus editor editor in command window this window opens so you can add bus object here by clicking this option that is add bus new bus gets added bus object okay so i'm just deleting this one and let's have a look at the bus object we are using so signal 1 is int 16 signal 2 is int 16 signal 3 is u int 16 so whenever you add 
bus elements to the bus object make sure the name you give to an element matches with the signal name you give in the bus creator that is in this model if i double click on this bus creator block signal 1 signal 2 signal 3 it matches with the bus element names given here if you give wrong names then it gives an error of mismatch of names so this is a model in which we were having some issues because of data type mismatch okay i already have generated code for this model when it had same data types for all three constants okay so after showing you the bus object changes i'll generate the code for the another model and we'll compare the code okay so let's go to the another model okay so in this model again this constant this one and this one they have data type int 16 and this constant has data type u int 16 okay but there are some modifications in this model so if i double click on this bus creator block you can see here the output data type is bus colon bus underscore one so for the bus creator which has mixed data type signals the data type is bus colon the bus object name okay and at this output port if you go to signal attributes its data type is also bus colon bus underscore one that is bus object name so that is how we create the bus object and we associate it with bus creator and its output port now if i simulate this model it is simulatable now let's generate the code for this model control b so for this model the solver is fixed tape and ode3 solver okay and if you don't know how to generate the code for model by using auto code generation option you can click on the link in the description below and watch that video for auto code generation now let's have a look at the code of this new model and the old model so for so this is dot c file we'll open it and this is the dot c file of the model which had same data types for all three constants okay so out underscore one is the output of bus creator block and out underscore two is the output of mux block so both the outputs are in the same format that is they are in the form of array okay so zeroth location of array will have output one then first location will have two and the second location will have three output for bus creator and the reverse is for mux okay so that is for same data type model okay now if we go to the model of different data types that is mixed data type model and if we look at the output okay so you can see here out underscore one and out underscore two so out underscore two which is the output of mux so it is in the form of array but the out underscore one which is the output of bus creator it is assigned using dot which we generally use for structure elements okay now if i go to this file that is types dot h you can see here for bus underscore one the structure is defined that is signal 1 int 16 signal 2 int 16 signal 3 is u int 16 okay bus underscore 1 and in this dot c file it is assigned using dot 
so that's the difference between mux and bus so both combine data but only bus can allow mixed data type signals so when it is with same data type we don't need a bus object and code is in the form of array but when it is with mixed data type we need bus object and code is in the form of structure so that's all for this video if you like this video give it a thumbs up and keep watching and keep learning